May 23rd, 2023, 4.51 p.m. Alaska Standard Time. We're about 30 minutes away from the 20 Mile River. We're gonna go do some hooligan dip netting. I think we're a little bit late in the season, but usually the run usually goes on till the end of May. So fingers crossed, hopefully we get some hooligan fish uh, to fill up the freezers. Super exhausted, but I'm gonna grab some coffee at the gas station. We're gonna be doing it all night. The sun doesn't set till 10, 11 p.m. So we got all day to do some fishing. There's a little sprinkle rain here and there, but that's not gonna stop us from fishing for some hooligan. Beautiful, beautiful sewer highway. Burr Point on the right hand. Alright, I just stopped at the Gerwood gas station to use the restroom. Got myself a little nice 20 ounce coffee. I was getting ready to check out and the guy was like, have a good day. It's just coffee, right? So I got myself a little nice coffee from Gerwood gas station. Shout out to those guys. They stay super, super busy uh, during the summertime and wintertime. They're the only gas station from Anchorage till Sewer. There's another gas station before them called Essential or something like that, but nobody ever stops there. So this gas station in Girdwood right here is always busy. Uh, gas, food, and there's a little strip mall right there too that has like restaurant too as well. So shout out to those guys. If you guys are always, if you guys are traveling, make sure you stop there, grab something to buy, grab something to drink, even if you don't need to fill up your gas. The 20 Mile River. Looks like the tide's going out, I believe. But it doesn't look like anyone's catching. Not a lot of people out here too. But don't worry, we got some faith. It is very, very chilly when you come out here to the water rivers. So make sure you guys always overdress. It might look nice and cold and warm in the town. But as soon as you get out here, the wind chills will so what gets you. So been here about five minutes <clears throat> haven't seen anyone catch anything yet i haven't looked at anyone's bucket and see if there's anything in there but hopefully we didn't miss the run i was watching my videos from last year and i was fishing around may 14th and 15th and it's already may 23 23rd <laughs> so i think we might be hitting the last run so hopefully these fish come in so we're right here at the 20 mile river this is the 20 mile river bridge <coughs> And this year they got some construction going on <coughs> This year, I believe they're building another bridge right next to it. You can see right here at construction So they're building a new bridge and they, they might be tearing down this one or they might be keeping both of it But just be aware of that slow down for construction workers They got flaggers right where the parking lot is and then I'm parked right down here Enjoy my coffee Stay here in a bit. Looks like this going. Guy got one right here, but not good enough. If you guys like to see heavy equipment operation, this is a good time to come by. Check out the crane work. So I just spoke with one of the construction guys here. They are building a new bridge, and they're gonna go ahead and demo this bridge. Who knows how long it's gonna take? They might go on till next year, but that'd be, be uh, that'd be really nice. Spoke with some of the fishermen. They've been out here for a while. They haven't catch much. Uh, the father and son down there caught five only so far. But again, this tide is coming up soon. Right now, I'm just reserving my spot. I got my net, my buckets out here. So I'm gonna fill up my two buckets and then run these to the vehicle, dump it in the cooler instead of bringing my big cooler up here. Way more work that way. So we're just gonna reserve our spot as soon as these guys start catching. That's when you know the fish is here.
current time is 6 20 p.m the tide is coming up but very slow not quite yet i would say about in the next hour it should be picking up a lot of folks are arriving because those folks know that this fish comes up when the tide comes up so i've been watching that rock right there as soon as that rock starts to disappear then we know that water is coming up but a few more minutes i'm just saving my energy right now some people are catching one or two every other five ten casts but that's not worth it for me we're just gonna wait till the big school has come up and we should be able to get our buckets in 10 15 minutes current time is 6 p.m 6 p.m pretty slow some people are catching some but right now right now i'm just conserving conserving my energy I know they're gonna come up. I always believe in these fish. They will come soon. time is 10 21 p.m pretty much got skunk got less than like 10 15 fish <coughs> the tide is supposed to be up at 11 but it never the tide never came up so i'm not sure what's going on you know people were catching fish here and there like every 10 scoop but it was just super slow i think we're too late in the season or we might just have to try another time didn't record too much footage for you guys apologies for that but again there was nothing really much to record i was catching some that was like one fish per net every 20 casts so super slow i probably won't be coming out anymore not worth the time not worth the driving more i do know that in sewer there is a lot of hooligans in sewer but i never dipped net in sewer before so if I really do want some, I might make the trip out to sewer, but for the time being, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to make the late night drive home. All in all, it's still a good day. It's better than being home. You know, I got to drive the fresh air, the beautiful highway, Alaska, meet with nature. And it's been a long time since I've been with nature, so in my eyes, it's a win-win for me. Catch you guys next time. Much love.